Hey everyone, it's Joy here with some more inspiration sharing my Shark Week card kit for 2023. You guys, this is a pre-order card kit on my website, createitwithjoy.com from May 1st through the 14th. And you guys will receive the kit in the middle of July. So then we can create a card together in August. So from the card kit, I'm using the six by eight Beachy Sharks stamp set. Look at how great this is. There's so many fun things going on in here and we are going to use the little shark that's buried in the sand and we're gonna use the bucket, the pail and a sentiment. Also from the card kit, I am using my turquoise cardstock and a piece of acetate. You get one piece of acetate in the kit. I'm going to use it on this card, but we will be using that piece of acetate for a project on August 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific time on my YouTube channel. We are going to create a card together with this kit. Okay, I have a piece of white Nina cardstock. I am inking that up, not perfectly at all. I don't mind that it's a little splotchy, it's going to completely even out. I am using uh, antique linen distress oxide ink and then we're going to bring in a fun stencil this card is a shaker card it is so much fun now in your kit you do get uh, shaker elements but I actually used a different shaker element and I'll explain to you why also I have a video down before if you have not seen my video explaining the kit and explaining everything else I do have that linked for you guys below go check that out that also has inspiration with another card project. Okay, I'm using Newton's Nook Seashells Stencil and I'm using still the same antique linen and I'm blending over with the seashells. And when you peel it back, so this is tone on tone, look at how cute that is. I love it, you guys. Okay, so then I'm gonna come in with gathered twigs and I'm gonna ink blend around the edges. Now. Over these next two weeks while the pre-order is live, I'm going to have tons of inspiration on my channel. And I also have some other people that are sharing some inspiration. I have the Diary of Belle Rose, the Delta Crafter, and Shannon Peltier, and I will have them linked below. You guys can go check out their inspiration. They made some really adorable cards, you guys. Okay, I'm stamping up my shark his head and his tail. These are two separate stamp pieces, so you can lay them out however you like, which I think is fantastic. Of course, we've got this cute pail and the little shovel because, you know, the shark just wants to come and play on land. And so that that's what this whole stamp set is about, is him just having fun doing people-y things. <laughs> and he's just having a good old time. I am coloring with Copic markers. So that bucket is C1, 2, and 4. The, the shovel is B0204 and 05. And you're gonna see how easy it is to color this little shark. Now this card is really cute. I am using, obviously using products outside of the card kit, but I did wanna be able to show, show you how you can extend the life of this card kit. This stamps, or excuse me, the card kit is $24.99. And it has a six by eight stamp set in it, which that stamp set alone is $24.99. So everything, you, everything else that you get in the kit is essentially free. So it really is a good price for this card kit. And it's super, super fun. I am using T1, 3, 5, and 7 for the shark. The sand is... E11, 33, and 57. So this shark is a little bit on the darker side. I like to color my sharks these different colors. Uh, it just makes them look a little bit different. But look at his grin. I feel like in he's when he's smiling or when he's smirking, he always has this little bit of uh, creepiness about him. He looks a little bit, he still looks a little bit dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, He's just way too much fun. Let's color the sand around him, even though most of this we're not really gonna see because we're gonna tuck him in on this card. This is just, this card has a lot of fun little ways to tuck in your elements to look like it's buried in the sand. And so uh, that is really a lot of fun. I do not have coordinating dies with this, so I will be fussy cutting these guys out which I'll be honest, I don't love fussy cutting, but these images go pretty, pretty quick. So I'm gonna do that. We've got all those little elements we need to do, and I am cutting directly on the black line on these images here. And once you're done cutting all of them out, you'll wanna take a black marker and just gently color around the outside edges. It gets rid of the white cardstock from where you trimmed, and so it just gives you this nice 
uh, black edge. So that's what I'm doing here with my marker, just going around the edges of all of the images that I fussy cut. Okay, I'm using Simon Says Stamp and CZ Designs Life's a Beach Die. I'm gonna get that in place. I wanna get all my elements in place so I know exactly where I need to die cut. Then Lawn Fawn, I'm using the Sandy Beach Accent. So these little pieces here, and of course they're stitched because you know Lawn Fawn does the stitching, which I think is great. So I want the bucket and the shovel to be buried in the sand. And of course the shark's head and fin need to be coming out of the sand. So I am just lining everything up. I have my sentiment from my Beachy Sharks stamp set from the card kit. And I'm making sure that everything is gonna fit how I want it. And then I can line up all of my little die cuts. I'm taping that in place with mint tape making sure that I have my um, die cut the right way because there is a right and wrong way for these sandy beach accents. So I'm making sure I have that in the right spot and then another one for his tail. And again, that stamp set is two, you know, the head and tail are separate. So you could have him laying in any orientation. And actually, if you guys go check out Shannon's video and I'll have that linked below for you guys, the way she used this, this shark in her video and she did it completely different at the way it's laying and it's so cute you guys so you'll definitely want to go check out that inspiration i'm running it through my uh, platinum my black platinum six which you guys can get only at scrapbook.com it has fun pink plates you guys and they're the universal plates which are really fantastic Okay, I am keeping the letters because I will need the little insert pieces and I'll show you that here in just a minute. And then you could always keep that those words or those letters to create another card using that sentiment. From the card kit, I am using a turquoise piece of cardstock. I did trim it down slightly smaller than an A2 size. This front panel is trimmed down slightly smaller than an A2 size. And then I'm gonna add my um, acetate back. This kit this is from scrapbook.com they are one of the people that sponsored this card kit the other one is cardstock warehouse who sponsored the cardstock and then marisha sponsored sending uh making the sequence sequence mix that comes in the card kit okay i'm adding my foam sticky strips from scrapbook.com i'm actually going to add two layers of those and as you can see i'm just framing in the life's a beach area i don't need my shaker bits to go all the way to the bottom of the card because you are not going to see it so i want to keep it contained just in that opening i still need to add two layers to the rest of the card of course because you need it two layers deep so your shaker bits will move around so now that that's done i am using trinity stamps Oh, let me see, what are these called? I know I wrote it down. Oh yes, these are the Saltwater Aquarium uh, pieces. These are so colorful and bright. That's why I use these instead of the sequence mix in my card kit, because they're so bright against that whole tan background. You guys will see what I mean in just a minute. It looks like when you flip this over, the life's a beach look like, looks like it's underwater and you have all of these fun, beautiful saltwater tropical fish. Look at how great that looks. Okay, so we need to now add those little pieces on our sentiment. So the for the little circle for the B, you have it for the E and the A's. So the life's a beach, all the E's, A's, and B's, you have to add those little pieces back on. So again, you wanna make sure you don't lose that. Um, let me talk about this card event that we are going to, that I'm going to be doing August 5th. That's the first day of Shark Week card event. Shark Week card event is going to happen like it's always happened. All the companies that sponsored these videos and have giveaways. But the first day, the kickoff day, you guys, we are going to craft live together using this card kit, making a shaker card. I thought that would be so much fun. August 5th, 11 a.m. Pacific time, we will craft together. It's gonna be a blast. Okay, so in my Misty, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. Now I will say I should have stamped this before I made my shaker card because it's just easier uh, to have that card panel flat against your Misty. It totally worked out fine because I just so happened to be stamping on top of where I put foam tape. So. I would say stamp it before you put it all together, but I always get excited about my shaker cards and forget that I need to stamp a sentiment. This sentiment, of course, is from the stamp set in the card kit that says, have a shark-tastic day. I think it's so cute. And I'm stamping that with black ink. 
Then I want to come in and blend a little bit with the gathered twigs over that sandy area where the shark and the bucket are going to be buried. So I'm adding a little bit of tape runner to the back of my shark head. And I needed to add a little bit more black marker in an area because I could see where I missed it after I fussy cut. But look at him sticking his head out of that sand. And I love that you can bury this using those cute little die cuts. Then we have his cute fin. And then, of course, the bucket and the little shovel for the sand. And we're going to put those together. I just love this shark. I just think he's so cute. And then I want to use Copic markers to add some dot detail. Again, this adds a little bit of extra something to your sand. It gives it a little bit of a life. And so that's what I really like to do with my Copic markers. Then I want to add this to a white A2 size card base. And because it's trimmed slightly smaller, we have a nice um, white mat. Then I want to use my black glaze pen for his eyes and then my white gel pen for some highlight detail. I did want to remind you guys again, this is a pre-order card kit from May 1st through the 14th. You guys will receive your kit in the middle of July. And this is so much fun. Again, it's $24.99. Everything is listed and linked below. You can get that at my website at createitwithjoy.com. Look at this cute finished shaker card. I love this so much. Definitely come back because I'm going to have a lot of inspiration on my channel through the 14th. And I'm super excited about Shark Week this year, you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon back here with another video. Bye.